Good afternoon. Welcome to the Ascension News and the Violet DNA Raising, featuring the Violet Goddesses of the Round Table, Pauline, Janelle, and Mary. Please subscribe and hit the bell at the YouTube. We will be featuring live streams in YouTube in two weeks, and then we'll repost to Facebook. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, today here's my oh, lovely Pauline and the lovely Janelle. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> we are going to be discussing the power of the spoken word. We're so excited. We got so much beautiful technique and hands-on experiences you'll be able to uh, participate with us so go get water go get a, a blanket get cozy pauline is going to begin with explaining the power of the spoken word and giving us some breathing and uh, mudra techniques well first i'd like to begin with an opening prayer so i ask that everybody <coughs> please put their hands over their hearts close your eyes and just take one deep relaxing breath and you, as you take this deep breath, just fill your body up with that healing prana energy. And when you exhale, just let go. Release your shoulders and just let it all go. And I ask that at this moment, you please visualize what you want in your life right now. Let's devote this time to being together with divine light, love, compassion, grace, and faith. We give thanks to the Supreme Creator, to all that is. We are all beloved children of God. The gift of love flows to every aspect of our beings. And so it is. And so, so it is. is. Thank you. Thank you so I wanted to begin today's discussion with just very briefly discussing what we call the power of spoken word. And um, really what it is, it's um, coming to a realization or mindfulness of how powerful our words are. Um, words as everything else is a vibration and when we say it the universe feels that vibration the universe however can't distinguish between good or bad it just reads the vibration for what it is so what I've come to realize is that a lot of times we're not very mindful and um, one of the two most common things that I hear people say is I'm broke uh, or I'm fat and then they're frustrated or they wonder why, yeah. you know, abundance isn't coming in or why they're not at the healthiest or their optimal weight that they would want to be. And what they're not understanding is, is that in a way, not in a way, you're casting that spell. Every single time you mm -hmm. say, I'm broke, I'm fat, <laughs> you're bringing that vibration to you. So uh, we just wanted to discuss about, you know, being more mindful with our words and um, techniques or things that we do to kind of help us refocus, reground, and recenter, and um, just kind of make us more mindful of exactly what we're saying. So I would first like to start off with um, just a mudra that I always go to. It's the Gyan Mudra. Gyan mudra. Everybody's familiar with it. It's really popular. So um, just to explain, you put your index, the tip of your index finger and your thumbs together and then you bring your, the, re, the remaining of your fingers together. You can place it on your lap if you like while you're comfortable. And um, just if you're not aware, it really helps restore balance. Um, it, when you are in a meditative state, it helps you actually go there a lot faster because it just helps the energy flow. Mm -hmm. um, so besides, besides that, I also want to include just a simple breathing technique that will help you get into that meditative state faster. And um, it's another simple one. It's box breathing or square breathing. And it basically is um, the way that I like to do it is inhaling at the count of four. And the way that I like to visualize it is that when I inhale to the count of four, I visualize kind of the energy flowing up. And then I hold. And when I hold, I'm also holding at the count of four. But I visualize energy just moving across. And when I'm done holding for the count of four, I exhale at the count of four and I visualize going down. And then it just repeats itself. I hold for a count of four and the energy moves across and then it starts up again. I rise up at the count of four. Okay, I have a quick question. So just to clarify, 
So you're talking about lower brain, upper brain. So yes. that's what she's going, yes, lower yes. lobe, upper lobe, across the top of the brain, upper right, and then going yes, down. Yes, thank you, Mary. So on the, on the crossover from right to left brain, that makes it a whole brain action. You're holding the breath, and then you're exhaling as you go down, and then when you go make your way across, the visualization is holding, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Just want to qualify that. Okay. Excellent. So, um, just want to maybe go to two cycles of it? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Let's do it. So let's do it. Just close your eyes, and um, I'll, I'll do the hand movement so you can follow along. So it's inhaling at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding the breath for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Exhaling at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding the breath at the count of four. One, two, three, four. And again, inhaling at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding the breath for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Exhaling to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding at the count of four. One, two, three, four. That really helped. Wow. Did yeah. you like that? It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That, that counting the up, I could really yeah. see that action, my lower lobe, my upper lobe, and then the crisscross of the whole brain action. It's very interesting. And I mean, I've been doing this breathing for a long time, but in doing more research on this topic, I realized that um, like uh, Navy SEALs, um, firemen, police officers have been taught this technique to help them kind of, to help them come down from really stressful flight or fight moments. So it's, I mean, if it can help them, I'm sure it can do wonders for us. <laughs> and for those that, that don't know, Pauline is an amazing shaman. Oh, she <laughs> has been studying and practicing for how many years? Uh, I would say for a good five years now. Good, so she yeah. can do, she's gonna be doing some cleansing and balancing at our Halloween party. And Janelle is an amazing alchemist sound therapist. I mean, I'm <laughs> the lucky one here. These two beauties. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. You're too kind. <laughs> You're so kind. Okay, so let's move on. Um, so next we're going to hand it over to Mary so you can oh, discuss okay. what beautiful oils <laughs> we can use. Okay, good. All right, so today I chose the alchemy oil because it's out of the nothingness. And I'll, I'll post a screenshot of this because it's hard to see the label and the oil. Uh, out, out of the nothingness comes whatever it is that you're intending. So I'm going to say this mantra, then we're going to do an interaction on creating what we want to create in the in this time of crazies, okay? So take a deep breath, put your hands, oh, sorry, 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 let's get some oil on everybody. Left hand and rub, <laughs> left hand and rub, <laughs> getting too excited. Okay, and then you, what you can do is put on your third eye, master brain is hairline crown, medulla is nape of the neck, and thymus area, okay? So while I'm reading this, these girls are going to be breathing, okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful oil. Okay, I am grateful, thankful, and blessed for the integrity of my thoughts. Just listen to that. Okay. My body is a glowing electrical science of finesse. I believe in the power of mind over matter, the soul over self-importance, and sanctified over physical. I am the creator, the writer, and the action in my experiences. I master and triumph all challenges with love, compassion, and fairness. So I'm commanding this to be so. So let's go into the Gion Mudra. Put your hands on your on your uh, laps, or you could hold it up if you want, whatever you feel like you want to do, or across your heart. Um, I am healthy. So we're going to say that together. I, I am healthy. healthy. I, I am successful. I am uh, abundant. abundant. I am well. I am prosperous. I am excellent. So whatever it is that you want to say, you want to command that because your your word words vibrate. Mm -hmm. They electrify your aura. Your aura goes 
uh, the width of your hand forward, the width of your hand up, the width of your hand sideways. So I go all the way over here on both these beauties <laughs> and behind the width of my hand and below. That's how far your aura extends and vibrates the power of your spoken words. So what are you speaking right now? Be impeccable with those words. Thank you. I'm going to turn this over to Janelle. Thank you, Mary. Um, so I just want to jump off of what Mary said by being impeccable with our word. It's so important, especially when we're talking about the practice of using mantras and how we go about our lives, you know, what we are speaking into the universe. And as to what Paulina said about, you know, anything can be a mantra. If you are con consistently repeating in your mind, I'm fat. I'm poor, I'm ugly, I'm unintelligent, I'm not good enough. That's the reality that you are creating and projecting through your consciousness. So we really want to flip the script and we want to be projecting abundance. We want to be projecting that, you know, we are in perfect health. We are the perfect weight. You know, anything that you desire, it starts in your mind and it starts with releasing the chains of the mind and shifting the consciousness. So one of my, some of my favorite mantras are seed mantras, which really contain the entire and shifting the consciousness. Teaching. Oh, so, hold on, sorry. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. One of my Technical stomach. difficulties. <laughs> That's, okay. that's, that's like um, live stream <laughs> what well, one? Janelle, if I can ask, sure. what are those um, seed mantras? So I wanted to talk about the most commonly used seed mantras, which are for the seven chakras. Okay. So I think Mary pulled it up. So these are really great to use. Um, so we're going to start with the root chakra, which is Lam. Mm -hmm. Sacral is Vam. Ram is solar plexus, Yam is the heart, Ham is the throat, Om, third eye, and Ong or Om for the crown chakra. So I wanna do a little quick meditation. You can do this at home if you have a mala handy. So normally, um, it's really great. You can use this for any of the chakras. It's really powerful to do it on the lower three. A lot of people, especially now, need a little bit of tune-up with the lower three chakras. Yeah. So what you would do is <coughs> repeat Lam Vam Ram 108 times while your hands are moving across the mala. So we're just going to do it three times just to demonstrate. So you can place your hands in Gyan Mudra. Take a deep inhale and repeat after me. Lam that you can do to really energize and clear out any blockages from any of the chakras. I have a question about the mala. Sure. So I go lam, vam, ram on three, or do I do lam, vam, ram on one? So when you repeat, so you would do lam, vam, ram, that's one beat. Oh, one beat, okay. So each beat is three times. Okay. So yes, it's very, very powerful to do that. Wow. Um, and you can do it in group, you know, whatever, if you want to do the upper three, 
um, or lower three, whatever you choose. Or you can just do um, 180 times, whatever resonates with you. And also, if I may add, I know that when people hear 108 times, <laughs> they get so overwhelmed and they see these big old mala breeds. But in reality, for something so quick as Lam, Vam, Ram, it goes by quickly, like yeah. less than five minutes or five minutes. So it does. And when you get the hang of it, it almost becomes automatic. Yes. And you are just like in this long, long, long trance and it yeah. just comes out. Um, You're basically in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's if you amazing. did, if you did like a typical uh, Om Madni Padni, that's, yes. the, you know, or uh, uh, oh Nam Yaho that's, you know, so it's the same. Yes. So and it really doesn't seem that long. No. No. So it's great. It's a <clears throat> great tool to try. Um, so I want to talk briefly about decrees and specifically with the violet flame so decrees are to me the most powerful yes. form of a mantra in the universe especially when using um, a tool for transmutation and alchemy which is the violet flame so we're gonna say a quick decree before we close out <coughs> so you can bring the hands back to Gyan Mudra close your eyes and just listen to the words. Beloved mighty I am presence and beloved mighty ruler of the violet planet. I demand, I demand, I demand the violet flaming inner essence come into the nerves of my body, strengthen them, soothe them, calm them, and be the power of peace within me that heals and pours forth its blessings to all life, everywhere, forever. Almighty I am, almighty I am, almighty I am. And so it is. And so it is. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I want to add one more thing. Just uh, I always like to spin it out and throw these girls off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can you can wear purple to invoke the violet flame. Yeah. You can drink uh, purple water. You know how, what is purple water? Grape diluted grapes right mm -hmm. you can eat a purple food what's a purple food um, a plum uh, eggplant yes yeah, cabbage. so if, you, if you're feeling like you can't connect to the violet ray the seventh ray then just think putting purple around you mm -hmm. getting a uh, uh, an amethyst you know keep yeah. it with you you know uh, you know I have this little cross it's amethyst it was given to me a long time ago so I try to wear it as often as I can Even artwork Yes. It yes. would be amazing. Yes, we've got the violet flame right here shooting into this little pyramid. Mm -hmm. So um, we're so excited to be bringing you a lot of information, but interaction. You, anybody can talk and say all kinds of stuff. We want to bring you action with our conversation, with our knowledge. So each week we're going to be bringing different topics where it's going to be a meditation, a mantra, a mudra. Uh, the oils and different things you can do to connect to the violet flame to the I am presence within the self So we want to thank you for joining us. We love doing this We're gonna go on even if the pandemic Stops we're committed. <laughs> we're committed all the way in all the way in we're rising up the DNA We're rising up the 33 steps on the spine <laughs> That's going to be a topic. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thank you. Drink some water. Uh, eat purple food. Yeah. yeah be mindful you. of your of your thoughts and your words. Let's close out with the final <laughs> prayer. Okay. okay. So I will just want to invite everyone to close their eyes and put, place your hands over your heart. <clears throat> As we share this time together on this live stream this afternoon, we claim health, love, healing, happiness, prosperity, abundance, success, wealth, and freedom. We give thanks for infinite intelligence. We are strong. We are the light of the world. We are loved. We are divine. We spread light for no reason. So be it. So it is. So it has been. So it will be. I am that ascension in the light. I am that. Truth is my name. Truth is my name. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you watching. Bye. Bye.